Right, so this is gonna be a quick video testing out Human Writer, which is a tool which is free to use. You get 2,000 articles a month, but there's no payment required. You have to put your um, open AI API in here, so the chat GB, so that chat GPT can work and stuff. So you will pay for that, and it tells you the costs here, which is extremely low cost. So it's 33 cents, 31 cents, 26 cents, an article. This is using GPT-4 as well. It's even cheaper with GPT-3.5. Like, I'm not sure, maybe five cents or something. Um, so we're going to do a test here. The whole point of testing this is to get a fully optimized article. So I've run these already into Neuron, which is a pretty brilliant um, optimization tool. And so I've run these titles in here. What we'll do first, actually, is we'll put the title in because it gets a few points on the score for this we're not going to bother messing it out with it totally but it will get a bit of score from that and i've got my title there and then i'm going to go to human rights we've already got the api in and i'm on single articles here so we go on new article now it's not super fast because you have to do a bunch of little options here but it's pretty damn fast and we'll put this on gpt4 so it's better quality content length then you can actually go and look here at the the average for the competition. So there's about 1,500. So my gut feeling is let's just go for 1,600. Now, add bullet points. And I like this, that you can add them to one section or all sections. What I think would be much better here is that they could say add it to two sections or add it to three sections or something like that. Because you might want more than one section, but you don't want all sections with bullet points, right? Now, what the next thing to do is to go to these suggested words which neuron suggests. So once these get checked off, um, it then, once you check these off, it the score then goes up. So I want to copy all the terms. There's actually this prompt for ChatGPT here now, which I've tested and it's not very good. Um, ChatGPT doesn't do a great job with that. So I'm going to put the, sorry, we're not putting it in here. We're actually going to put it into a blank Google Sheet because we've got to split this up. So if I go into um, the terms that we want in the content, so we don't want any of these header ones. We want these basic terms and these extended terms. So let's just delete that and then copy all of these down. There's actually a lot here. You could play around with that and then maybe just use the ones that are relevant. But you don't want to be spending time looking at through all of these here. I guess you could ask ChatGPT to summarize, uh, to break, uh, cut them down to like a more usable list, but then that's also wasting time. So let's just put these all in here. There's 101 um, terms there. Heading from keywords. We definitely don't want this because it's going to use all of these keywords here, right? But what we do want to do, and we won't bother with this avoid AI detection just because you, you get lower quality as it tells you here. And you probably get lower score as well. So leave this off and then what I want to do is go to the header terms, not the H1 terms, because that's the top um, title. And then we've got the H2 terms here. Now, what I want to do is tell it to include these. Now, there's a fast way of doing this. It's putting commas all into the next um, cells. Then that will break the word so it knows where the end of one term is and the beginning of the next term. Now, if I go back to Human Writer here, additional prompt for headings, OK? So we want to put include these words and just paste them in. Job done. So then what that's going to do is then optimize all the H2s based on the recommendations for the H2s. Additional prompt for content. I'm not bothering to put anything in there because we've got enough stuff going on here. You could do that if you want to sway it in one way or the other. And then as an additional prompt for FAQs, we're just going to put um, uh, use NLP, right? Because that would be great if the answers are in an NLP style. So, and headings here, again, I'm leaving that blank for speed purposes. You could obviously go to to here. Um, where are they? The words here, the header terms. Now, we wouldn't want to be putting these header terms in as headers, as exact headers, because we wouldn't want to be having those as the exact headers. These are words that should be included in the headers, in the H2s. So um, you could go to ChatGPT and say, hey, ChatGPT, like, can you make a nice article outline for this article? and um, make a bunch of headers, including these words, these words here. Uh, again, it's another step. I'm just going to like avoid doing that because it's going to take a lot more time. 
just because I'm talking through this, that it's taking a hell of a long time, but actually just whacking all these in, copy, paste, copy, paste is, you know, not more than 30 seconds, I would say. So that's all in. Um, and what we've got to do, that's hiding the button there. Just double check that in the titles there, yeah. So then I'm going to generate that. And it actually takes uh, usually about four or five minutes to, to come up with that. So I'll pause the video. And of course, you could be running loads of these at the same time. Um, and then they'll all be in progress and then leave it and come back. Okay, just while it's um, still processing, I thought I'd go into this multiple articles thing here, which is pretty awesome. You can make hundreds of articles really fast. Um, but I'll show you the limitations. So if you go into here, it looks basically the same or similar at the, um, uh, at the beginning. And then you, this is different here where you can put a whole lo uh, list of article titles, which is great. Add the FAQs, the same thing as well. Title of the project, this is irrelevant, really. It's just um, for your own reference. And then you can choose the same uh, GPT-4. Now, the problem is here is that the article won't be optimized because you're just basically saying, there's the title, make an article. You're not giving it all the keywords, which is, which is where the real power comes in for the optimization. And obviously, where more time comes in as well. Um, add bullet points, is all of this stuff the same. And then this is another limitation. So you've got to set the content length for all of your articles. Now, if you're running 100 articles and they're all going to be 2,000 words long or 1,500 words long or whatever you choose, you can't have them all different word um, lengths, which is fine. You know, you could choose a happy medium, 1,600 words or whatever. And you can have this option off. It's the same for all of them. And then the other limitation then here is you can't put your suggested terms into the headings because they're going to be 100 different articles. So you can't give it um, headings which are just for one article. And you can't replicate that across the hundred. So you, you could put in some kind of uh, information that you want it to do or like a style that you want it to be in the headings. But you can't actually start su um, suggesting keywords here. The FAQs, you can also say um, uh, make them NLP or whatever, like what I did before. That's fine. So this is a way of um, bulk doing um, articles. In my testing, I've tested it across a bunch of them and and then put them back into Neuron to see what the scores are. And the score is not that good, to be honest. It's um, It was, um, I'm, I don't have the examples there now exactly on, on hand, but it was like 26, sometimes 40. It was a very low score. Uh, so not ideal. But okay, if you want to just be blasting out loads of content and really fast, it depends what you know what your goal is. Right, so we'll close down the multiple and we'll go back to the single, which is completed now. And that costs 29 cents. And then another thing which is a little bit, um, adds a bit of time, or well, you've got to fix, is that it makes a different title here for some reason. So if we copy this whole thing and then go back to Neuron in our blank editor, which we've got 20 score there because we've put the title in already and the meta um, description. Now, what you really need to do then is to change the title, which actually this is an H2, it should be an H1, and you'll see the score jump up there, but it should actually be this title, Earthquake Insurance General Overview, Earthquake Insurance. It kind of makes sense, but we want to just stick with our, our original title that we want in our content plan. Not sure why that's gone bold. Right, so you've got to fix that. And then it's gone up to 88, you see, because we're actually based on this title. So that's what the optimization is based on. So that's pretty awesome, actually. You've got a fully optimized article at a score of 88, which is, I think, very acceptable. Um, and you've got FAQs. You've got bullet points, which you might have to fix some of these. Um, but it's pretty well formatted with H2s and H3s, I think. Yeah, H3s for the questions, for the FAQs. And then you might want to put a uh, title in for the FAQs. And then make it an H2, obviously. So 88 score. And that is how you can make a fully optimized article for um, 29 cents or somewhere around that. 
and it takes about five minutes. That took five minutes to complete. If, if I wasn't talking, it would probably take about 30 seconds to one minute to actually put the stuff in and copy the stuff to the Excel sheet, the Google sheet and back again. And that's it. Job done. That's ready then to use.